Here I have a full cup of water. You can see by looking at it that the water is right up to the right up to the edge. How many pennies can I put in there before it actually overflows? Well, let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 33. Now notice how the water is standing above the lip of the cup. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 39, 40, and there it goes. So we're able to put about 40 coins in there without the water itself overflowing. What allows the water to actually form a layer on top? Well, that has to do with the with the attractive forces, we call it the cohesive forces, between the water molecules at the surface. Right at the surface of the water, the molecules are attracting each other, forming what we often think of as a membrane or a skin, but it's actually caused by the surface molecules attracting this way to each other through cohesive forces that we refer to as hydrogen bonding. And it's this hydrogen bonding that leads to the surface tension on the water and allows the water actually to rise above the surface of the water. Once the water is a certain level above the surface, it then breaks and the water can no longer um, support itself and therefore it flows over. If I add a drop of detergent to the glass full of water, you'll notice that the water actually flows over. The detergent lowers the surface tension, it lowers the cohesive forces between the molecules and now the cup is level. The water is no, no longer standing above it because of the cohesive forces having been weakened by the detergent.